Hi, welcome to my very first Q-tip painting art class. Um, first of all, I just want to congratulate you for <laughs> taking this step because it's a hard thing to just jump into art. Um, I have a lot of art fear and, but we're gonna work through it together. Um, the painting that we're gonna do or that I'm gonna attempt to do today is this one from, um, what's his name? Jeffrey R. Pugh. And it's the first vision of Joseph Smith when he saw uh, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. So, and here's another version of it for you. So maybe you can see it. Um, We'll put a link in the notes so that you guys can actually go see like the art that's displayed in like Deseret Book or that's for sale there as well. Um, when I saw this, I immediately thought I should be able to Q-tip that. <laughs> no idea why. I've only ever Q-tipped one thing with the art Sherpa. She also does videos of Q-tip art, Q-tip or Q-tip art. So go look her up because you'll be able to find a lot more um, stuff there and it's more legit because I'm not an artist. But that being said, I also believe that everyone can create. Um, there's a quote that I like by President um, Dieter F. Uchtdorf and in 2008 he said that the desire to create is one of the deepest yearnings of the human soul no matter our talents, education backgrounds, or abilities, we each have an inherent wish to create something that did not exist before. Creation brings deep satisfaction and fulfillment. And it's true. Anytime I create things digitally, I feel a lot of sense of accomplishment. So this is a different form of creation for me, but I do remember when I did the Q-tip art paint before, um, I felt really accomplished. So hopefully that is what we will be able to accomplish here. And then we'll end up with like awesome art that will inspire us as well when we are at home or wherever you're gonna display this art. So we're gonna get started. Oh, actually first we're gonna talk about all the different supplies that you're gonna need. So we need this, like a canvas. Um, this one's eight by 10 and an easel. Um, you also are gonna get, or you'll need a copy of the art that you're going to Q-tip. I actually also have it on my phone because I wanted to see the different ways that the art is displayed digitally versus printed, just so I can kind of see the colors. Um, you're gonna need a tray to hold all of the, the art colors or the paint. <laughs> it's called paint, you guys. Um, and then we're gonna need a bunch of different paints. So I have probably way too many paints, but I wasn't sure which ones I would really need or want once I actually got into it. So I kind of got some extras just in case. Um, so we'll have the list of the colors that I'm using here so that you'll know which ones I used. Um, and then you're gonna need a gang load of Q-tips. Honestly, I have no idea how many you're gonna need. So just get like the 500 pack and then you should be good for this activity. Um, I also told my kids that they could do this after the video so that I know like how long it will take them to do it as well. So hopefully kids will be able to do this. I mean, if I can do it, probably kids can do it too. You're gonna need a thing of water. Uh, this is to clean out your brush. You're going to need some paper towels um, so that you can clean your brush off with. And also the tablecloth is okay to have paint on it. So just get one that you're comfortable splattering paint on cause you're gonna need that. Um, and I have some chocolates cause you never know if you need to have a treat <laughs> cause you got a little bit of art fear going. And I think Oh, and you're gonna need a, what is this called? A paintbrush. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is not my forte. So, <laughs> you're 
It's fine though. It's fine. It's a good thing my husband's here helping us out. Um, and then, oh, and I have a blow dryer because um, we may need to speed things up because we don't want to take forever. Okay, this has probably been like the longest intro in the history of intros, but I think that covers most of it. Oh, actually on the back of this eight by 10 uh, canvas and on the easel, we have taped the bottom and I'll have a picture included so you know how to do that um, because you don't want to have to hold your art when you are actually trying to um, paint because it, if it starts to wiggle, you're going to be wigging out. I mean, at least I know I'm going to be wigging out. And so what you'll want to do is tape the bottom of this here. So maybe you can see the tape right here. Um, what you'll want to do is tape the bottom here. Okay. It can be masking tape. I'm using gaff tape, which is <laughs> not something people will have in handy, but um, you'll want to tape it. And then that way, when you need to hold it for any reason, you would just hold the easel at the bottom and then your eight by 10 piece does not actually move side to side with your paint or with your brush. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, we're gonna get started. So first step is just get the paint that you need onto your tray and we're going to do a layer of white on on the canvas and we're, I should have put a little bit of water on it I was told that I was supposed to put a little bit of water so we'll put water on it in a minute once I get this paint off and it's just supposed to help the paint spread properly honestly I don't know why um but I remember I did this the art Sherpa told us to do it. So I think that's why we did it. And when an artist person that has more experience with art tells us to do something, you do it. So we're just gonna do that and just kind of do like an even, I mean, it's white. You can't really tell <laughs> what you're doing because it's white on white, but we're gonna go real time. So we're not speeding anything up Okay, because we want to know exactly how long this is going to take and we want you to follow along. So if you need to pause the video, which I doubt because I take a long time, then you go ahead. Oh, and I've been touching the paint or the, what's it called? The canvas, like I told you I wasn't supposed to touch the canvas. Okay. Now, if you notice, we have three sides of the canvas, okay, that are exposed, but then the one that's at the bottom is not exposed. So we will take care of that at the end. Okay. And I, the last painting we did with that Art Sherpa gal, we ended up just doing a flat, um, flat art painting. It was just like on a piece of canvas, but it wasn't wrapped around something. So again, this is me just guessing as to how this is what you would do if it was wrapped. So I'm just imagining all the color pictures that I have that are wrapped and basically the color you go, you extend it past the canvas, right? Or past the flat surface and you go around the corners. So that's what we're going to try and do. Okay. I think this is good. And since it's wet, we're going, and then we put this in there. So it'll we put the brush in the water to kind of wash it off. And then we're going to dry it with the blow dryer really quick so that we can work on the rest of the painting. Don't let it fly away. I'm just using the cool setting.
Okay, so I just used the cool setting. You don't need to use heat. Also, I just noticed there's something on my canvas. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the orange on the outside and we're gonna pour, we're gonna pour all the yellow, oh boy. I think I've been mixing these. Feels like these have been on like a plane or something. They're like exploding from the top up. It's no bueno. Also have a garbage can handy because I don't currently, so we're just gonna chuck that there. Okay, if you can see what I'm doing, we have a couple different colors going on there. I'm trying to match those colors, but you know. We may or may not get the perfect match. That's okay. Everything's okay when it's art, right? There's no mistakes. Okay, so as you can see, these are our colors and we're gonna start with some Q-tips. Okay, so currently our brush is fine. We don't need it for now. And we're gonna start with probably the darker orange and we're gonna work our way in. Okay, see the darker orange is like this. And we're gonna try and work our way in, into that. So, I'm gonna use, we're gonna do three. We're gonna do three and we're gonna start. It's very scary. I should have brought out like three canvases so if I mess up, I could start over. But that's not the option for today, okay? That's like my six-year-old. He likes to start things over when it doesn't work out for him, which makes sense. Okay, it is okay if it looks a little bumpy and chunky. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way down. Here we go. Now remember, we are not going all the way down because we don't want to go that long. We don't have that much space, so we're cutting it a little bit short. Okay, so we're gonna go on this side. And then we'll catch the edge in a minute. Okay, so we're just kind of going down. Remember, this is all just the uh, orange color, which we currently are calling Harvest Orange. Okay, now I'm gonna take it up around the top there. Again, it does not need to be perfect at all. Also, it does not look like what I'm doing right now. I'm looking like the painting, so that's all right. We still got time. We just barely started. Our fear should not be kicking in just yet. <laughs> Also, I guess there's another option for the edges. You could also just paint around it just black. And that's okay too, I guess. That's an option if I don't like it. I can always just paint over it with the black. So it'd be like a black line. Or, yeah, like as if there was black lines around the sides of it. Which might be good too. Might want to do that. Okay, I'm about done here with this piece. Also, it's a little chunky. Okay, and that's all right. This art is flat on the paper because I printed it, right? So if it were like in real life, it would have some texture to it. Okay, now we're gonna add another color, so I have these three Q-tips, right? And they were all orange, but we're going to switch it up. So I'm gonna put these Q-tips down so they don't stain stuff. And now I'm going to grab 
the yellow and the lighter yellow, okay? And so we're gonna do one Q-tip's gonna be the yellow, one's gonna be the lighter yellow, and then we're gonna get one more that's the orange. So we're gonna start blending it. Okay, so you should have something like this. It's gonna look a little bit crazy. I don't know if you can see that. Probably you can't from in there, but okay. But here we go. We're gonna start at the top. And what you wanna do is you wanna spin it around so that your colors kind of start to mix a little bit. Okay, so it's looking a little more yellow than I would hope that I'd want. So I probably need to add a little bit more orange. So here we go. Yep, that looks a little bit better. We want it to kind of blend in. And do you see how it goes down? Oops, do you see how it kind of goes down like that? Okay, so that's kind of what we want to do as well. We want to have kind of an uneven way to go down. Poor Clark's just bored. He's not even following along. <laughs> He's just like watching. So I mean, I guess that's fun, but. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side, but see how these kind of got all worn out? So we're gonna get new Q-tips, because you can, you have like 500, so you're good. And this last one. Okay, so we're gonna do it on the other side now. Okay. This side looks a little bit more yellow than the other side, huh? Seems a little bit weird. But it's fine. I need a little bit more orange like the last one, remember? Okay. Oh, our lighting just changed. I don't know why. <sighs> but it's fine. You guys are gonna be just fine. Okay, so can you tell it's starting to look a little bit more like, I feel like I need a little bit more orange still. Because I just realized that the, the width of this painting actually is wider than this. So I probably do have more space to go orange, right? So, you know, adjust accordingly, okay? So maybe I'll do a little bit more orange. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to the orange. <laughs> We're getting Christmas lights over here. So no worries though, guys. Stay focused. Okay, so we're going back with these. So I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm doing now is trying to fix what I was doing because I think I want a little bit more orange on the sides and that's okay. So I'm just going and doing a little bit more, but you see how flexible we are with this? If you don't like how much you did, you can add less or you can add more. Okay, so now that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna try and work on getting uh, yellow, let's see. So we'll just do yellow. I guess we'll still keep, we'll just do the same mix we just did. So let's get a little bit more orange because we need more. And then we'll do some yellow. And then we'll do some sunny day. This yellow paint one. Now we're gonna try and get it all there together. All right, we got that. Okay, here we go. Whoa, big globs. Here we go. We got this, guys.
like the entire table is moving. I'm sure that I moved this canvas. Might want to check, make sure I'm doing it right. colors those are so I'm going to switch it getting new three new ones thank you I probably got too much paint on there okay hold on we're gonna get the other one okay see that it's kind of crazy whoa That side went a little crazy. It's not looking like what I wanted. Okay, that's a little bit better now. The entire table's moving. Maybe work on a stable table. I decided to work on this one because it's the one that has paint on it. So we just figured it didn't really matter that much, but it probably would make a difference. Maybe like a kitchen counter or something might be more sturdy. Okay, so now we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Okay, now I'm gonna switch it to, and you could probably use the back of the other Q-tips. Okay, let me show you. You could probably use the back of Q-tips, but be prepared for your hand to get all dirty. So I don't really want that to happen. And since Q-tips are pretty affordable, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do, I'm not doing orange, I'm just gonna do these yellows, okay? So I don't need three, I just need two. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna do the same, what we're doing here. So basically, the closer you get, to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, the whiter it gets. Okay. Getting more Q-tips. That's good, we're looking good. Okay. And then there's like those pieces that just kind of go through here that are like darker or lighter within the dark. We can add those in later. Um, oh yeah, I need more Q-tips. Honestly, we're gonna need like a lot of Q-tips. But you guys are doing awesome. Remember to breathe. Because sometimes when you're doing art, you feel like you hold your breath, at least I do, to like see if it's gonna be good. But it's gonna be awesome. At least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. <laughs> so that's why I'm telling you to tell yourself that, okay? It's important. Wow, I should probably write down how many Q-tips I'm using here, huh? So many. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we kind of have both sides a little bit. It's looking like a rainbow. And now we need to kind of go around like this, but it looks like it's more like ivory and white and a little bit of yellow. So we're gonna start adding the other Q-tip uh, with that ivory color. So yellow, this lighter yellow, and then this. Wow, that ivory's sure white <laughs> when it's on the Q-tip. <laughs> so we're gonna go 
try and do that. It looks really mustardy, you guys. It's weird. I'm gonna take out this one and see if I can add just this one. Yeah, see, okay, I think that the yellow one was adding a lot of mustard. So, and there, it feels like there's a little bit of orange in that. So we're gonna add a little bit of orange back in too. And since we don't want the orange to be like super strong like the other ones, whoa, did you see that flip? Um, we're going to put a lot of white on there to help, like a glob of white to help even out the orange. Because see how that, there we go. That's a little bit better. But now I see like some weird orange spots. Art fear is kicking in, you guys. <laughs> No, we got this, we got this, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna go with this. We're running out. New, new Q-tips. I don't know if you can recycle Q-tips, but if you can, great. If you can't, I'm sorry, Earth. Okay. Whoops, why am I doing yellow? I don't want yellow. I was getting orange. Okay, remember? Big glob of the white. And then... There we go. Then we kind of mix. Because we don't really want a whole lot of, like, orange spot, right? Okay, also... Let me know if you feel I took too long <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like I'm taking too long. Okay. Can you see that right there? Is it looking all right? I hope so. Okay, now we're going to bring this color down. Okay, see how we want to bring this color down? So we're going to bring that color down. Also, I have a bunch of paint on myself. Wear clothing that you're okay with getting paint on or because you do not want to mess up a good outfit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're coming down with it now. Here we go, guys. sure okay yeah we're getting super close in fact this might be the one we pull down through the middle okay it's gonna be amazing breathe <laughs> it's getting harder to hold the q-tips I think my arthritis is kicking in or something all right Shadow. Oh, that's Clark. Don't worry about him. He's just trying to help. Okay. Just trying to get some of that. Wow, look at that stack. Oh, Q-tips. Okay, guys. It's fine. It's going to be fine. so good. You guys are doing awesome. 
you know what it takes courage to paint okay because and it's super vulnerable because like it's something that you created and you're putting it out there so good job proud of you all because it's hard and we can do hard things okay so we're almost we're almost done with this beginning part here I should start with black. It would have made me feel like I accomplished a lot more. <laughs> Maybe you guys can start with black. I don't know. Okay, we're going to go down the middle now. Also, it's a good thing that this is Q-tip painting because there is no way I would be able to paint like an actual Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ picture. This is as close as it's going to get. But you see, that's coming along. That's really good, you guys. Look at this. I mean, for never having done that before, that's good. All right, so we're getting these same paints again. That orange, the sunny day, it's like a light yellow, and then like the ivory one. We're really liking that combo mix. Whoa, that one's let's, get that. let's mix that a little bit more. So we don't want straight up orange in there. I mean, you could if you really wanted to. I don't personally want that though. Alright. Now like what do I do now we're gonna work on like the silhouette okay so we're gonna try and do it with these this q-tip that we have that's kind of worn out so we can kind of just see where we're gonna go with that okay and then we can fill it in with color after because we don't want to do it with like super wet just to make sure that it's something we can dab over if we don't like it, you know what I'm saying? So we're just kind of shaping it a little bit, you know. Nothing too crazy. Also, I'm pressing really hard right there. Can you see the indent? not press there okay that's not bad that one I can't remember is one of them supposed to be taller than the other one <laughs> doesn't really say that in the scriptures right all right now we're gonna do the same thing oh, wait kind of a worn out one for the other side, huh? Let's see if I can find Q-tips that are worn out. Mm. This one? Okay, so I'm just using some worn out Q-tips, remember, because we don't want it to be super Super defined. That's what I meant. I want to just kind of make a little outline and then we can go over it after. But these q tips seem to be dried out even a little bit more than the other one. How's the framing? Is it okay? Clark just wanted to see how it was turning out. That's awesome. Can I just say that 
art is, you know, something that you have to practice because I feel like this Jeffrey Pugh guy did a really good job. And I'm like, I gotta start over. <laughs> but it's fine. If you feel like you gotta start over, I feel the same way, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going and finish this, all right? Okay, so now I want to use the white because I'm gonna go, I wanna work my way out. Even though we seem like we've been working our way in, I kinda wanna work my way out just because I don't wanna mess up. Um, and so we're gonna try and do that. Let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna do the white in the middle, but then also use this ivory color in the middle. And so, should be pretty good. I mean, it doesn't like not look like the middle, but there is like some shadows in there that I don't have. I'm guessing what I'll do is probably combine it with the super light yellow to see if I can get like a more defined color. But that's okay, cause we're just working our way. Okay, this is, the white part is like the lightest and so Good there. And we're gonna try these two again. This is the everything's good lined up. Yeah. Okay, that was a little bit too much paint right there, but what do you think? How do you think it's turning out? <laughs> he gives me the thumbs up. What's he supposed to say? Like scratch it, you know? So he's just trying to be nice. Is good I guess we don't want to add to the art fear <laughs> this might be the time to get some chocolate just in case or your parents or somebody to come in and be like you're doing a great job it looks so good because you need some of that encouragement <laughs> at this point Okay, we're gonna try and, let's see, we're gonna try and use a little bit of that yellow, like I said. We're gonna work our way out, remember? So now I'm gonna use the ivory, and I don't want the white anymore. But I feel like there's like a light orange. I don't know if you see that. Okay, let's see. This yellow looks a little mustardy. There's more orange there, guys. Don't you? But since we did that one, we're gonna have to do the other one. So, that's fine. It's not gonna be exact, right? Otherwise, we'd probably need permission to like recreate that exactly the way it is. So in order to get that orange color, we're gonna have to mix it with that ivory before we put it on there maybe, just to see how it works. So here we go. Whoa. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna do a new spot. Just mixing it. Oh yeah, see that's probably the color. It's more the color. Do you think it needs yellow? Maybe. Let's try it. Now 
looks like salmon, you guys. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> Clark's expression is pretty awesome. You guys gotta see it. But you know what? I think that we don't have to mix it beforehand. I think we'll be able to use it. In fact, maybe what we should do is mix that with the white and then, and then make the dots on here. It's fine. It's going to be fine, you guys. Okay. So we're going to get a bit more of that white and I'm gonna try this new orange color. We're gonna go for it. Right there. It's not too bad. Also if you're if the heads are shrinking a little bit, that's okay. See how skinny they look on the paper? Okay, it's alright. The artist, Jeffrey, or AKA Brother Pew, he obviously didn't use Q-tips, so it's not gonna look like the pattern that he has. It looks like more like strokes than Q-tips. So just remember that. It's not gonna look the exact same. But you know, we want it to, it's just not gonna do that. Okay, and then, let's see, we're gonna make more of that salmon color. Even though it's salmon. So I'm just mixing the orange, the ivory, I guess it's called antique parchment. Okay, we're mixing those two, and then a touch of yellow or the sunny day, just to kind of get the color that we want. And you know what? Even before you're done mixing it, you can put the Q-tip in it, because that way it'll kind of give you that fresh art, like, not fresh art, fresh uh, mix color, I guess. I'm gonna need a little bit of white right there because now that head looks way too skinny there. <laughs> so right, it's totally gonna be fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting the base of the garments in there. And then we're gonna work our color backwards from backwards from there we're gonna come back out to darker and then this is actually like a little bit of a red and so we'll work there in a minute so remember we mixed the orange this one and that ivory parchment antique parchment color for the for that color that we have Does not look right, but that's okay. We're gonna put white in it soon. Okay. And then we'll fade it out a little bit more with yellow and stuff. Okay, now we're gonna try and add some of that yellow in there, okay, with the white. 
these two here. Okay. And we will move. I need more. Okay, how long has it been? I have no idea. Give me the time count for for us. Tell me how long is this taking? Almost 50 minutes, all right. So far, 50 minutes, you guys. Wow. I almost feel like the rest of it's gonna be way easier. Hoping that big chunk of black is gonna be amazing. Really hoping. It's almost there, guys. <laughs> this art fear's kicking in, you guys, again. This art fear, let me tell you, it comes, comes and goes. It comes and it goes. All right, we're gonna get a little bit more orange now since we're coming back out. So we're gonna do the orange, the light yellow, and the ivory-ish color again. Okay. A lot of orange right there. Whoops. It's okay. Hmm. I feel like it needs more orange now. Okay, guys. We are using the Q-tips. I think I just spit all over myself. It's okay. At least you guys aren't here. So that way you don't have to get all that all over yourself. Okay, here we go. Got some more paint. And it did say we need a little bit more orange, right? So, oh boy, this is going down kind of far. I'm gonna need to color a little bit more black over that, huh? Because, yeah. Okay, so I think this is probably as far as I wanna go with that. So I need more orange to darken things up. And we're gonna start the red. Now I have two red colors here. I'm trying to decide which one I wanna use. I'm gonna go with the darker red. Also, I think I'm running out of spots in my tray. <laughs> so we might need to take a break to wash it out. But who knows, we'll see what happens. Okay, because yeah, I'm gonna need black, green, khaki. Okay. So we're gonna go orange and the light yellow. Okay, now this one we're gonna be careful with because we don't want to be be too crazy. But we do also want to make sure that there's space for the black. So I'm almost thinking. Actually, first I need to clean up this other one. I think I, these ones are too globby right there, so I'm just cleaning these up so it'll dry faster. I went down too far. Okay, so now we're just gonna kind of mix this red. And so I'm actually gonna go a little bit higher because I don't want the black to be 
I, just, I don't want there to be like no black, so we're gonna go a little bit higher with this so that we can make the black in there. We may need to go over this a couple times after we do the black, just because. Just because. Just because we want to. Yeah, because you see there's like dark in there, but this is all light, so. So yeah, we'll need to darken it up in there. Alrighty. Now, we're gonna get the black. Now I'm gonna use this paintbrush because I kind of want an even line down here, okay? So we're gonna put, I'm gonna put the black in the middle since I don't really need the middle for anything and I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of space already, so. Also I'm not closing the lid because there was a lot of paint right there, okay. So we're just gonna try and create, and this is the one we're using with the paintbrush. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want This much? Yeah, that's probably good grass, right? Sure. Sure, we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go that distance, okay? And we're just gonna kinda go cover a bunch of ground here with the black, mainly so that we can get things rolling faster, right? Honestly, that took too long that beginning part there. But at the same time, that's like the most important part, right? So you almost don't want to rush it. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to paint over these dots that we did. Because then I'm gonna come back and do them a little bit better when I have covered it with the black, okay? So it's totally fine. I'm guessing I should have done the black first because it does feel like, like I could have done that a little bit better. But it's fine. We'll make it work, right? Okay, and then we're gonna paint the sides, right? So just... Paint up to where you want, and then we will Q-tip, Q-tip the rest over it to make sure that there's not like any actual straight lines. See that? Again. It's coming along, right? Okay. We're going to paint the green soon. It's fine. We're gonna be fine, right? Okay. Now we're gonna clean the brush off in the water. And then we're gonna try and Q 
Q-tip the grass down here, green. Okay, so we have this English Ivy green and Abhor green. I noticed there were like two colors in this grass, so that's why I chose these two colors. I believe that there's other colors in there as well, but for the purposes of well, for the fact that we're not actual professional artists, we don't own every color. Um, and I felt like these two colors would be good. But if you have other colors and you wanna use them, great. Okay, again. I'm not the professional here. I'm just the one, I guess, vulnerable enough to <laughs> show you my work of art, which, in the end, probably will be just fine. Oh, I did want to blow dry it for a minute. Oh, okay, we're just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. <laughs> Oops, we'll put them right there. So we're gonna blow dry this for a second because we are trying to put paint on top of paint. we're good there and then now we can paint the grass let me check to make sure I have this camera right I think it's a good color. I think it's a good color. I like the way it's blending. I feel like because Joseph Smith's not faded into the black, it's gonna be easier for us to create him in this space. Although I just realized that he goes into the black and so I'm gonna need a lot of heavy white on top of that. So as soon as that dries okay, I'm gonna add some white so that we can do his shirt. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am like rotating the Q-tips so that we don't get the same color like everywhere, but it can kind of mix a little bit. Just kind of gives it that like textured feel and not like you just colored it, I guess. Okay, and the easel is gonna get dirty and it's fine. Just want you to know that in advance. No one is mad if the easel gets dirty. That's what the easel's for. It is for painting. I'm just sorry you probably can't see what I'm doing when I put my head right there. So we're 
gonna keep going down here. And as you can see, we will need to remove the tape from the back in order to actually get to the bottom, but we're not gonna do that until the very end because that's gonna be crazy if we try to do that right now. So I just realized I'm probably sticking out my tongue. However you paint is fine, okay? Whatever facials you use is probably good. Don't worry, nobody's watching you. Except you're watching me, so. I should probably be careful. Okay, we're almost done with the, with the grass. Sorry, I'm probably moving my head out of the frame several times. It's probably super annoying. Okay. It's like army color. This is like camo for all the fellas that are gonna be painting this, I'm sure. <laughs> at, le at least my boys, they'll love this camo grass that we've created here. So we'll call it camo grass. All right, now you see this line is a lot smoother than our line, totally fine, okay, no big deal. Okay, um, now we're gonna blow dry a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so I was just focusing on drying mostly this middle part because that's the part that Joseph Smith's going to go on. And I think, yeah, there's still a wet piece. Here we go. Now we're going to do Joseph Smith's hand and we'll work our way up because we don't want his hand to run down past the grass. So that's what we're gonna start with. And I've included another color. Hmm, I don't know if this one's gonna be good for that. I think we're gonna need, you see how this color is almost that like weird salmon color we created. That's like fleshy color. So that's probably the color we'll use right now. Whew. Excuse me. So if you're getting, if you still have some of that fleshy color, we're gonna work on, we're just gonna dab it like literally in the center. <laughs> Clark, we're gonna Dab it. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so, but that doesn't look very thick and I can still see the green, so we're gonna just put a little bit more. Also, that looks like a really big wrist or hand compared to the actual like picture, so we're gonna try and put a little bit of green around it some more because that's crazy how big that came out. 
Can you see that in the in this one? I don't know how far back. I should have put lines of like where stuff is gonna be. Okay. So we're gonna just try and close the gap there. Of Joseph Smith's hand. He didn't really like how big it came out. So that would be really far out. Okay, so since Hold on, we got this. Okay. That's probably not bad. Okay. We're going to work with that. Okay. And then we're going to do white for his shirt. Okay. So we're going to use the khaki white, or not khaki white. What am I talking about? There's a khaki color. But we're not going to use that one yet. We're going to use this ivory uh, parchment white. Or should I use the really, really bright white? I don't know. The clerk thinks the bright white. We're going to go with the bright white. <laughs> so here we go, guys. And we want to make it thick because we have it to go over on black. That's, that was smart of us. All right. So this is like his sleeve area. We're just gonna go up. That's not bad. It's going over the black real good. Okay, and then we're gonna spread it out. And then he's it's gonna have a head right there maybe. I think that's good. So we're just going to kind of create his back. We need more white. Could you imagine if we were trying to actually do a real person? Like, I don't know how to call it. I don't know what to call it. Like drawing, painting a real person. I mean, this is painting a real person, I suppose. But you know what I'm saying? Like this mainly, I'm looking at it as shapes, okay? This is like a really big rectangle with like rounded corners, right? Like that's what it is. That's what we're doing. There's nothing more than that. Okay, I think I think that's good. We might need to make it a little thicker, just where we already went. Just because we don't want to see the black behind it. But at the same time, it's fine, even if you do. Okay, now we're going to do his pants. Okay, so I did get this khaki color for pants and then a brown because it looks like there's like a shadow. Okay, so this one, this part right here of his leg is like lit up, right, from the, from the light. But then this part that's closer to the ground is like the dark side. So not to be confused with the dark side, but this is the color we're going to use for the, for the darker brown. Oh, right here. The picture that you're pointing to. This bit. Yeah. Okay, so this is not good. Can you see this? No. Oh, Sometimes. I've always been doing that. Can you see it if I put it here? No. Okay. So, I guess we'll do it this way. Okay, so we're going to do this khaki color on top for the top part of the leg, and then this dark brown color, which is called chestnut for the bottom part. There's a little bit of orange in there, so we might put a little bit of the brown with the orange, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm thinking you might want to monitor from there because I don't, I can't really tell, but like this one seems like it's okay. 
like you don't gonna have to tell me too much from that side right okay so I'm running out of space here <laughs> in my tray which is bad because that means I'll probably need to send you guys two trays or require you to have two trays okay first I'm gonna start with the I should probably start with the lighter color you're right so this is khaki so I'm gonna put the khaki next to the black on this tray even and hope that it doesn't touch okay Just kind of put the pants on Joseph Smith there. I think that looks good. We'll see what happens when we put the darker brown and see if it looks good or not. Okay, guys, ladies, friends. Okay. Again, I was going to put the orange, but we're going to just try it without the orange for now, for a minute. Just see what happens. Oh, crazy. I almost got the hand. I don't want to make the hand disappear. Okay. Okay, that does not look bad at all, you guys. I'm really happy with that. Art fear fading away because it looks okay. I mean, you know, it's not the same painting, but that's fine. All right. I'm going to add possibly a little bit of the orange in just because it looks like I need texture on it, but maybe I don't. And it would be a bad idea, but we'll see. There's some orange in there. I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay, it's looking really good. So we're going to keep going. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of flesh for the ear section. This is going to be really hard because I think what we're going to need to do is we're just going to need to make some globs over here and then we'll dry it and then we'll do the, the hair on top. Oh, and so we're using the color, this color that we mixed originally that was making this salmon color because it looks really good as a flesh color. Honestly, I don't know if I need to use two Q-tips for this. Probably just one is good enough. Okay, guys, this is where you can hold your breath. No, I'm just kidding. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> you know I'm putting my breath. If we mess up, we can just paint over it, right? So this is the stuff you tell yourself. Okay. I think I'm just going to do one more layer because I can still see kind of the black through it. That's supposed to be ears. Mm, looks super funny. So we're gonna be fine. Okay, now we're gonna use the khaki color for, no, we're gonna use the darker brown for the darker hair, and then we're gonna use the khaki brown for the lighter hair. I think my husband just likes looking now to see how good it's gonna be. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh, I need to dry it. My bad.
Alrighty. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so we're gonna try this darker color. I think it's coming out pretty okay. What do you think? Yeah, you think so? Okay. Now we're gonna mix in this other color. This is probably the harder part, I guess, of stuff. His head looks really weird. <laughs> okay, let's round it out a little bit more. He looks like he has a bald spot. What do you think now? Yeah, you like it? Okay. I think Joseph Smith's done for now. Oh, there's like a shadow right here, right there. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I don't know if I can do that, guys. That's really talented. <laughs> oh, I know, I can use the other. Okay, I'm gonna use the not Super white, white, the antique parchment on the zone. It's like a, the ivory color. Let's see. I mean, that's better than it was, I guess, because you can see like that it's his arm. But I think I'll probably leave it like that. I don't want to, I don't want to mess that. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this piece here. Okay, and this black is pretty dry now. So we're gonna work on our orange, red, and yellow combos. Trying to finish that up. What's the time frame we got now, babe? Going for the long haul. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna combine the right colors for that, guys. Let's try again. 
We're gonna go orange. We're gonna go this sunny day again. It's the lighter yellow. But it's running out, so we need to refill it. And this ivory color. Oh, I think that is what I had before. Maybe. Maybe I just didn't have enough orange. Yeah. I think I have plenty of orange. No, it's going all over the place. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna. I think I'm getting paint on my phone. Okay. Now we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go down there and do the red color. Because the red was part of the black mixture. Because we're gonna try to even this back out, right? So we didn't really like the way that looked. And we're going to use red and orange, and that's it, red and orange. Oh, I need a little bit more orange than red, though, because apparently the red is taking over. it thicker because you can see that line is like super thick so just keep on adding more globs also if you are an actual artist like that you do art all the time painting then don't judge people, okay? You know, we're just trying to... We're just trying to create. So we know that y'all could probably do a better job. But that's not what it's all about, okay? Alright, this black line is not my favorite. So, I think I'm going to actually do like a black with a red mixture and maybe try and take the sharpness out of that line. No, I don't need more red. I got plenty of red. How's the art campus? Is that okay? Okay, here we go with this black. Oh, black is really black, you guys. <laughs> Are we all surprised? Okay, well, good news is the line's going away. Bad news is I don't really like how it's turning off like this. So we need to keep 
keep working until you find something that you like. I mean, it's getting there. I feel like I need a little bit more orange right here. And maybe... I was gonna try and, because these look like strokes, I was gonna try and do like Q-tipping of the black. So that might even it out a little bit more too. Just like over it. Oh boy. I'm gonna get black all over myself. I can see this happening now. Oh yeah, you see how that's looking a little bit better now? I feel like that, that's what we needed right there. To kind of even things out. They kind of look like they're in a cloud, but you know, it's fine. Get too close to Justice Smith because you do not want to mess him up. He is looking good. And so, we're just kind of adding some texture to the areas here. Just to kind of make it not so. I don't know what the word would be, but it's okay to so just mess with the mess with it a little bit. Like you can see right here, you can't see right there. You can see right here. There's like a little bit of black. There's like black right in there. There's black right there. There's like a tiny hint of dark right there. And so it's kind of messy, you know. And so it's okay if ours looks a little bit messy. We definitely need to keep working on Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ because they are not looking like that. But that's okay because we're going to just fix them here in a minute after we're done with this black. And then we'll be done. Look at that. That is... That's looking good. That is looking good. I mean, I'm not an artist, but like I would hang this up. Okay. Okay, peeps, here we go. Let's try and finish the main characters here. Okay. It's stressful. <laughs> art fear, art stress. Okay, what's the time? Because I want to be done in like at least two hours. But what's 60 plus 60? 120. And you said we were at like 80 but before, but now we're at like we're one. At 95. Now we're on 95. Okay. <sighs> Maybe we should take a break. Maybe we should take like a, some water break, candy break. Whatever break you guys need. Okay, here's what we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna be brave. We're gonna just color it in the middle, okay? And then, we'll just keep layering until we like it. We're just going for it. So I'm using the two beige colors the antique parchment, two, two Q-tips with that, and then one with that fleshy color. We're gonna go with it. We're just gonna start in the middle there. 
pushing all of them to be even. I'm recovering the middle because we're going to put white on top after. So it's okay. Oh man. Um, we hope Brother Pew will be okay with the way this turns out. Next time we should get him to come on, give us some pointers. <laughs> right? Don't you think? That'll be so amazing. Give us encouragement, tell us we're doing a good job. Okay. And then we're gonna do another one. Okay, it's looking all right. It's looking okay. So if you're doing this with multiple people, you will not want a table that shakes. Everybody will mess each other up. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's where we're at with this. Okay, now... Oh, look at our stack of Q-tips. Okay. Tips, nice. Ah, oh, I messed up. Hold on, I got the wrong paint on the wrong Q-tip. Here we go. Got that, that, and just a touch of this yellow. So I'm gonna blow dry a little bit. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the middle part. looks really good you guys it's almost like the more you q-tip the better things turn out I don't know is that just me what colors were those I don't even remember <laughs> oh it was light yellow and I remember okay I'm like we need those same colors okay it was white this light beige, aka antique parchment, and then just a hint of this yellow. And that was really good. So we're gonna go with this again. You gotta get those Q-tips in the right position. Okay. Sometimes they don't wanna be there. Here we go. It's like my fingers don't know how to do that position. Oh boy. All right, 
let's just say that this one turned out a little bit better than that one. <sighs> it's fine though. We're gonna keep going. You too. That's right. Our rule is you just keep Q-tipping until you like it. Also, this picture is like a super long picture. And so it's like, you know, silhouettes are like super long. <laughs> Mine are a little bit short and stubby, you know. So just, just know that they're a little bit taller in perspective than what we're representing. I mean, we don't really know anyway, but still. Probably not short and stubby like this picture. Okay, so I'm gonna try and like make them a little bit longer by like dragging the color a little bit further down. Maybe that'll help. Right, don't you agree? That's not bad. That's not bad, right? I feel like, you know, sometimes when you're looking at something for so long, it like doesn't look good. I feel like I need to separate, my, separate myself and then come back and be like, ooh, I think it really does look good. Maybe that's what you need to do. I'm not gonna do that because that'll take too long. But if you need to do that, pause, come back to it just to get you a little bit of confidence, then totally do that, okay? Looks like he has curly hair right there. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You gotta talk to yourself in a positive way, okay? Otherwise, who's gonna, you know? Okay, I think I really like them the way that they are. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more white. So, towards the middle. To kind of make them shine a little bit, you know? Hmm, but they have like that texture, you know? Which one? Which one? Do what you think will look best for your drawing, for your painting. Drawing. <laughs> no idea how that would turn out.
I feel like this is wearing some shoulder pads on this one. <laughs> and this one's not so shoulder padish. Let me see if I can undo a little bit of that. Taking the salmon flesh color one. Let's see if I can undo some of the shoulder pads. Yeah. Slow it down. It's like, you know, football player. Just because that's what he used to be. <sighs> I'm just kidding. What do you think? Is that a little bit better? I should probably do that. That's better. I feel like that's a little bit better. <laughs> what do you guys think? All right. Um, I feel like I can still see white in here, so I'm probably gonna go through and do a little bit more of the yellow orange combo. This one, and see if I can't fill that in a little bit more, okay? My husband, he's like, don't do it. Do you guys like it just like that? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I can fix a little bit more spaces there. We'll see what happens. It's probably because I had white. It's probably because I had white. That's actually what I said was don't use the ivory. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. It would be good if he spoke up his tips. <laughs> I have more art fear than you even. That's, that's like, never mind, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. He does not have art fear. Okay. Right, we're going to go with this one. Just the yellow and the orange, I guess, is what he was talking about. Yeah, it's fine. You gotta do is keep q-tipping right that's the rule we've decided it's like it's like when you're cooking right like you messed up the spices and you just keep adding I don't know I don't think that's how it works <laughs> don't listen to me I'm not a chef <laughs> in fact my husband's the one who's making dinners most nights anyway so let's not kid ourselves salmon color coming in here. All right. let's see I want to do a couple yellows Let's 
let's see. Sometimes you just gotta fix your mess. But I'm trying to fix your mess again. Okay. I don't know, guys. Gals. Might be as good as I'm gonna get it. Actually, maybe. <laughs> Clark's laughing at me. <laughs> um, this looks too rainbowish, so I'm gonna add like a thing of orange right in the middle there with this yellow. Okay. Just because we can do that. It's a little orange. Let's try. this up, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> that looks creative. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what you're doing. I think for real I'm gonna stop touching it because that way we can be done with it and we can work on the bottom but you know it's kind of <laughs> what, what do you want me to do you're not gonna be able to see it if you want to do side by side you're gonna have to do that oh okay here we go so what do you think it's like okay I mean it's not perfect but if you want his painting I guess you can go buy it and that's fine too he would love that um anyways hopefully you guys had fun and I know I did a little bit of art fear going on but in the end I'm gonna hang it up and when I look at it I'm gonna be proud of myself because I did something hard so thanks for watching good luck and we will See you later. Actually, hold on. I still have to show you how I'm gonna paint the back, huh? So let's not, let's not cut yet. Okay, so this is how I tape the back. So we're gonna untape it so that we can paint the bottom, okay? And really, probably what I'm just gonna do is put it on its side and do this just get the q-tips for the green and the dark green those colors we remember are arbor green and english ivy green and we'll just finish that up and it'll be great so sorry about that <laughs> we're almost done Q-tip stack. We're gonna get a picture of that in a minute. Throw that on social media. Seriously, I can't believe we actually finished this, you guys. This is amazing. I'm legit proud of us. Ooh, you know what would be awesome? If you had this painting in your living room, I mean, the one by Jeffrey Pugh in the living room or something, you know, and then you had one, the one that you painted in your room, that'd be legit. 
Although, then you might be comparing yourself to his. And... We don't want to compare, okay? Comparison is the thief of joy. Right, Hank Smith? sign your name somewhere okay the back bottom right bottom left you know but wait for everything to dry before you put your name on it because otherwise you're gonna mess stuff up Okay, I think we're awesome. I want to leave it like this to dry because I know that side's already dry. And if you're a perfectionist, you're going to try and keep touching it, but really, you should just stop touching it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see. I'm going to put this and this next to each other like this. Can you see it? Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for joining us. It was awesome. Send me the ones that you make. I want to see how yours turn out too, okay? All right. Okay, so I wanted to record just one last thing. Um, so I, after doing the Q-tip art last night, um, I was able to kind of sleep on it. And this morning I came into the room and looked at the art and I am legit proud of myself for making something that looks almost like the original, okay? Jeffrey Pugh is like an amazing artist and I love his story about um, how he designed this and came up with it and everything. And I think because he was inspired to do this, I was inspired to uh, want to do it in a Q-tip art format. Um, you probably can't tell, there it is, that's a little bit better, um, what it looks like because uh, it was all blown out, but now you can see a little bit better. Here, maybe I'll it up now. So I am proud of myself. Also, when I did the first Q-tip art that I uh, had done a while back, it was with a group of five sisters and um, we were all there to support each other and to tell each other how, like what a good job we were doing throughout the process. And so I just want you to know not to give up. Like don't give up when you see something that you don't like or don't appreciate from the art that you're working on because later on you're going to appreciate the work that you put in to create something that wasn't there before. And there's like a sense of accomplishment, but also like, like I'm proud of this, you know? Like I'm not an artist at all ever. And this is just like really good. I mean, you just, I guess you can't make a mistake with Q-tips. <laughs> and I just really like it. And so anyway, um, 
Because we're not all together in the same room, uh, working on this art together and being able to encourage each other throughout the process, it makes it harder for us to stay committed, to stay determined to finish the art. So just, I just want you to know, keep working, finish it all the way, go to sleep, then wake up. Also, something that helped was I took pictures and I sent them to some of my friends and was like, hey, how do you like my like very second piece of art that I've ever Q-tipped? And they were like, that looks amazing, you know? They were like really encouraging and things. And so that was good, getting other people's feedback on the work that I did. And um, so yeah, I think as long as we can keep going, like don't just finish it halfway or don't just do it halfway, finish it all the way so that you can then look at it and say like, okay, I did something, I liked it, I finished and, um, and then you can display it, you know? And honestly, when you're, when you're my age, pretty much proud of anything I make, you know what I'm saying? But like, if you're younger than 40, which most of you are, um, you will be proud of this much later in life. Um, my son, who is 11 years old, I told him, I said, I'm gonna try and Q-tip this art and see how it turns out. Do you wanna try it? He's like, no, no thanks. Anyway, I was like, okay, fine. Anyway, he came in and he was like, this morning, he's like, this looks so good, mom. It looks exactly the same. And I was just like, I, sh I mean, I should have recorded it because you guys, he was so reassuring, so validating, so excited and positive about this work of art that I did that took me two hours, <laughs> you know? And he was just so excited about it. And now he wants to do it himself because honestly, if I can do it, you guys, anybody can do it. I want to say that again. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You just kind of got to get work through that art fear, okay? So again, totally awesome. Just work through it. And yeah, if you need to show somebody like your 11 year old <laughs> or my 11 year old <laughs> child, feel free to do that. Or if you have a sibling that could be proud of you for doing some art, you know, they, I think the younger generation gets more excited about that stuff than we do. But anyways, um, good luck. You're going to be awesome and don't give up. Okay. Don't give up. All right, um, send me the pictures of your projects because I think it would be awesome for us to kind of see all of the different artwork that we all have out there in us and be able to support each other in our creation process. So anyways, happy Q-tipping.